Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sassy E and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I created my lip gloss labels. So with further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to go ahead and click on my account, click on design and templates and click start designing. For the sake of this video, I will be browsing by clicking on find blank labels. You can locate the item number on this packing list that also includes the activation code that you can use for one month. Or you can locate the item number on this packing list. Which includes a brief description of all your labels that you ordered. Here I'm going to go ahead and type in that OL864 and select the stickers that I will be using in today's video. Okay, at this point, I'm a little lost, so give me a minute to figure out what I'm doing. Um, but I want to stop here and say I love online labels, and the reason why I love online labels is because they have it to where you can do custom labels or blank labels, whether it's sheets or rows, you can go enter in the shape, the size, the material, the finish the quantity and the production time and it's going to give you configure and give you a price of everything that you enter and I'm going to insert a picture of how it looks right here okay guys I found my place here I'm going to go to design and choose my logo size my logo to my preference Then I'm going to click on text and add a text for my product type. I'm going to add another text, which is going to be uh, the name of my product. Then I'm going to add another text that's going to be uh, the flavor of my product. And here I'm just formatting everything. Making sure everything's centered and making sure the font style and the font size is what I want. Okay guys, at this point, I'll be making two more labels, same exact steps. Continue watching, I'll be right back.
Okay, on my next design, I'm gonna go ahead and click, click on multi-design and rename the design that I just did. That way, when I do this second label, I don't have to change the type of product. I can just change the name of the product and the flavor of the product. I see where I messed up. I did not change the name of my flavor, but that's okay. Okay, with the last label, I'm gonna go and duplicate it. Now all three are color coded. I'm gonna go back and make sure all of my labels are uniform, meaning the same exact font, the same size, and the position. Okay, so excuse me here until I figure out what words I want to use on my labels. Continue watching. Okay, so here I wanna do a edit layout to select a design that I want to place on my a sheet of labels. The first two rows are empty, except for that second one on that third row and so forth. So here I'm just gonna select which ones I want to print and the place I want to print. Also, I'm selecting all the ones that I want to be blank so they won't print on those particular labels. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick update on these uh, labels and then I'm gonna go back through each label that I have and make sure everything again is uniformed make sure I didn't miss anything And again, I'm just making sure everything is perfect.
Okay, you guys, it's time for a quick save. You're going to save your design. And I see mine it already exists because I've already made labels already, but I'm doing it again for the sake of this video. You can go to print labels and download it. Go over to the right hand corner and click on it to download it. It's going to come up. You're going to go to the printer icon at the very top. And then here you're gonna go over to, okay, here you're gonna go and select more settings, click on actual size, click on printer settings and click on preferences. Uh, the paper type, the type of quality, which is gonna be best click apply and click print. Okay, you guys, these are my labels. They came out great. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and drop a comment, please. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.